Let me show you an amazing way to convert your boring column chart into an amazing chart using icons. So this chart can help you to stand out and present your data in a better way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a ratio chart for male and female where we have a different icon for male and a different icon for male. So let's check it out. So to create this chart, you need a 2D column chart and these four icons. So let me quickly go to the raw data and show you how you can create this chart within a few minutes. So first of all, select the data, go to insert tab, click on 2D column chart. And here I have this 2D chart. And first of all, I'm going to delete a few elements from the chart, which I don't need. You can add these elements once you, you know, complete your chart. So the first thing is to decrease the gap width between, you know, all of these columns. So once you select the column, any of the columns, then go to your series options and then make this gap width to 0%. And now I'm going to, now I'm going to insert the icon that I'm going to use for each of the bars. So for this, you need to go to insert and then you need to click on icons. And here I'm going to type person to find two identical icons for male and female. So here's the female icon and here's the male icon. And now I'm going to insert it in my worksheet. Now from these two icons, I need to create two more icons to use as the outline of the bar. So I'm going to select the both and copy and paste. Now the next thing is to change the color of the icons and also make these two icons as an outline icon. So I'm going to go to graphic formats, click on graphic fill and use blue for male and a light orange for female. And now I'm going to select the second one, remove the fill color and use blue for outline and same for the female icon. Now the next thing is to use these icons for each of the bars. So we have four bars and that is why we have four icons. So I'm going to start with the first outline icon because you need outline icon for the first bar which is 100% of the ratio and then the filled one for this bar that shows the actual ratio of the male because this is something which is going to change with the data and it will change the fill within the icon. So let me quickly do this to show you how it works. So we need to do this manually one by one. So first of all, I'm going to copy the outline icon for male and I need to select the 100% bar of male. Now here you can see when I select the male bar, male 100% bar, it also selects the female 100% bar. So for this, I need to click one more time on this bar so that I only select this bar, the male 100% bar. And now I'm going to go to fill and then I'm going to click on picture or texture. And now I'm going to click on clipboard so that I can paste the icon that I already copied from here. And now I'm going to select stack and scale width. And for the second bar, again, double click. Go to fill and line, picture or texture. Click on the clipboard to paste the icon and stack and scale. With. Now you can see because the percentage here is 54.9 and that is why the part that only 54.9% part of the icon is showing here. Now let me do this for female. Double click on the bar, go to fill and line, picture, clipboard stack and scale with copy the icon double click go to fill and line picture and stack and scale with now we have icons for all the bars now the last thing is to change the gap between these you know icons or or i would say the bars so for this you need to go to the series options and from here you need to change this gap to 
hundred percent. And here we have this chart which shows the ratio of male and female using the filled part of the icon. Now, if I change this value from here, let's say if I move, you know, the male value from fifty four point nine to forty eight point nine, you can see the filled part goes down. And if I increase the female percentage from 35 to let's say 65.5 the filled part in the icon goes up so this is how you can create this chart within a few minutes now here's one thing that you note down here before you create this chart of your own if you try to copy and paste this icon directly into the bar which is possible you might have a lower quality of graphics of the icon so if i try to do that it gives me a icon directly into the bar but it decreases the quality of the icon as a graphic so always use this clipboard option you know once you copy it you can just select the bar and then click on the clipboard so it will use the same icon but it will not decrease the quality of you know of the icon as a graphic so if you like this chart make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button because i'll be coming out with a lot of cool excel vba power query tips and tricks in coming weeks